All available experts, please report to room A9. Hello guys, Exter here, and welcome to Papyrus Tiles. The point of this module is you're going to humour Papyrus by completing his puzzle, which you might recognise from uh, Undertale. Okay, where this is from. Greetings, human. You're going to love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Elphis. You see these tiles? Each colour has a different function. Start on the left of the grid and make your way to the right. So, this is what each of them do. Red tiles are impossible, you can't walk on them. So, any red tile we see here, just ignore those. <laughs> Orange tiles are orange scented, they'll make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles, if you smell like oranges, piranhas will bite you. So you don't want to smell like oranges. You don't want to smell like oranges because the products will want to eat you. Blue tiles are slippery, you slide into the next tile. However, it, this leaves those threads as lemons which providers do not like. So I'm assuming that means you can walk on the water tiles then. Green tiles are starting to catch a monster you must kill. This is just basically a pink tile, which didn't do anything, just with an extra step, basically. <laughs> so now we've covered that, let's try and make it from this side to this side. Normally I try to avoid both the red tiles and the blue ones, just because it prefers you don't have to keep track of what you smell like, basically. So, let's start... Here. Clear. All personnel, please return to then we can go here, and then we can go here, we are now orange centered, we can have, we're going to start another battle. And now, we're already orange centered, but we can go around here. Then down here. Then we can slide on this one onto the next one. We can't go across here because we will slide onto the red tile here. So we can we can go down and round like this. Then down here, then here. Find another monster. One more, and we're out. Oh, we still have the module. You can press the reset button if you get to a point where you can't win. And Christ, there's a lot of <laughs> red tiles here. Mm. Just, just some side notes as well. Game bit will cause a strike and move you, position you out before, so it won't reset you back to the start. If you slide onto a red tile, you strike and then you will be reset. And killing the monster is just done by waiting for the bar to reach the centre and pressing space when you need it to the centre. Okay, let's try this one. This path here seems alright. Then we can start another fight. Then we can slide on to the next one. And then... Hmm. I'm going to test out the theory of... Yes, we can walk on these tiles because we don't smell like oranges, but we do smell like lemons. We can get, walk into this one and be safe. Oh, although... We could, we could go here, but then we would die here anyway. So let's go back the way we just came. <laughs> we can go up and round. But again, we can't do that because then we smell like oranges going through here. So, we might have to take a slight detour to avoid this, which I can see we can go round like this.
as if we can do the we can go up here, and then we can carry on going. We're going to have to do three fights here, though. And then we get that self module. So that was Papyrus Tiles. It's a nice little puzzle to work out how to get from one side to the other without activating any of the strike conditions. But it's quite simple in the end. So hopefully you understand how Papyrus Tiles works. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.